Shots, right? Uh -huh. That's what it is. It's an acronym. Listen, we were just talking off camera. He said he's fresh <laughs> off the jet from Florida. You're working out in Florida right now. Uh, so I want to talk to you about the Giants and the end of this era in this chapter. So the question I have: Did you see it coming? And and how would you describe your time spent here in New York? Well, I mean, could I see it coming? You always had that possibility, and. Uh, you could kind of see a rotation in the backfield and how, how we were operating, that that was a possibility that could be strong. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I'm a vet in the game. I, I can kind of see it from, you know, the business standpoint. Mm -hmm. And um, so you could, yeah, I could, I could say, you know, that was a possibility. But where I'm at right now, I'm excited, yeah. you know. Um, free agent, you know, healthy. Mm -hmm. I'm down in Florida already training, getting ready mm -hmm. for a team to call me. Um, I always say my job every single year is to make one GM right, and that's no doubt what I'm going to be doing this upcoming mm. season. So, um, you know, my, my time and experience in New York has been absolutely amazing. You know, from the organization, top to bottom, giving me an opportunity, bringing me in, uh, trusting and believing in me, uh, the team, the experience, mm, yeah. I will not be able to reduplicate that. Mm. Um, it's his own experience. Yeah. And so I'm grateful for it. Um, and the reality of playing in the NFL is, you know, everybody has an experience where they no longer are with a particular team. For sure. And uh, so this just happens to be mine with the Giants. Yeah. Rashad, you're so positive. That's why we love having you here at the breakfast table. And you mentioned you're already working out down in Florida. I feel like if I was a free agent, I might go on vacation. I might, like, eat as many flaming Hot Cheetos as possible. <laughs> you're already posting on Instagram. Look at you. You're already getting your workout on. In. Why is it so important for you to sort of stay in shape and also post videos like this? Well, you know, for me, it's, it's always important to stay in shape because as a running back, I mean, especially your time is limited. And, you know, I think the best way to get in shape is to never get out. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Uh, that, man. Yeah, definitely. After our vacation week, are you kidding me? Yeah. Well, <laughs> your collage, I'm never coming back. You, you, you got to stay in shape. <laughs> it's true. You do. And uh, taking care of my body, I always pride myself in that. And uh, I remember as a rookie uh, saying one of the things that I wanted to be able to do is be one of the most oldest and productive guys playing in mm -hmm. the league. And, uh, you know, people always ask me about my age. Well, if, you know, if you look at my body mm -hmm. and you look at the way I run and you look at a, a young guy's body and the way they run, you wouldn't talk about age. Right. Um, and right. so, you know, I'm, I've been allowing my maturity to catch up with my body mm -hmm. as long as it, by the way I eat, by the way I sleep. Um, by the decisions I make off the field, so I'm excited to be. What's your advice? Too. What's your like? Yeah, give us ben and Jerry's one. ice cream. What should we do? What should I do? No, make I want to know your advice. Oh, advice. Oh, advice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just I give him advice. Like, like, you can't. Come, <laughs> yeah. not one oh, okay. thing What's that's the like. What's the advice? All right. I don't need those. I mean, it's not that I'm a sushi fan. I'm yeah. the biggest sushi okay. fan. I, that, that's really not kale. bad. But I, I like, love my kale. I love like, the kale. Like, like, like no. tempura, <laughs> like cream cheese. Sushi like avocado salad. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, sure it is. It's if you get the deep food. fried that's shrimp. That's what I'm saying. Is it like, but you know he's not like the tempura. I know. It's so true. Like, yeah. the eel. It can be fake healthy big time. Like, sometimes know. I don't France. use Himalayan some... salt on my edamame. It's crazy. Can't do it. Got to use the Himalayan. What are you getting? You're getting the lean sashimi with no rice and the low sodium soy sauce? Yeah, the chef special. The chef special. All right. The chef special. I'm Unbelievable. I know. And some vegan ice cream. That's, vegan that's ice thing. cream. I didn't yeah, know they existed. Yeah, vegan. So oh, yeah. There's a lot of fake ones out there, but when you find the right kind, All right, listen, it's let's, amazing. Like anything. You had, obviously, you had three fascinating years in New York. You had, a lot went down. You had, obviously, Coach Coughlin, Coach McAdoo. You ended up in the playoffs this year. And I know you're also a very cerebral guy. A couple of us here are new to New York as a city. What was it like being in the market, the, the media market, New York City, that area with all that you went through? What yeah. sticks out as a memory for you, man? Uh, it's not a replica you know, what, what, what the media market can bring. Um, I feel like, you know, you're a kid and, and, and tour, I'm, a, I'm a kid and towards us here in New York with all the opportunities off the field that comes. You're under a microscope. Anything you do yep. or say will be held against you, whether it's good <laughs> or bad. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you learn, I think you learn a lot about personalities. Um, because you get to see so much of the world in one particular spot. Mm. Uh, so I've been fortunate of that. The fan base is phenomenal. And I think one of the things outside of the game of football, because I could talk about football all day, but the people that you've been able, I've been able to affect in a positive light, um, the kids' life that I've been able to change is because I'm here in New York. I'm a giant. I wore the NY on the side of my helmet and represented something bigger than me. Um, I think is something that, you know, a little kid from Forest, Virginia, 